Photosynthesis first begins when the light hits the leaf of the plant. Photosynthesis needs light to occur, and the process cannot occur without it. Contrary to popular belief, both the light-dependent and light-independent reactions need light. When the light hits the leaf, it is absorbed by the photosynthetic pigments called chlorophylls and cardinoids in the thylakoid. These are all contained in the chloroplast. The chloroplast has granum, which are stacks of thylakoids. This is where the light-dependent reactions occur. Meanwhile, light-independent reactions occur in the stroma. The chloroplast is enclosed by a double membrane, as it is believed to have been an independent cell before being absorbed through endocytosis. The light-dependent reactions occur in the thylakoid membrane. Energy is absorbed by photosystems in order to excite the electron. Each photosystem is accompanied with a special pair. Photosystem 1 has P700 and photosystem 2 has P680. First light is absorbed by the photosystem 2 to excite the P680 and the electron within it. Simultaneously, the light energy is used to split a molecule of water into oxygen, hydrogen protons, and electrons. The electron replaces the previously excited electron in photosystem 2. The excited electron passes through protein complexes which releases hydrogen protons to establish a proton gradient. The electron is now passed to P700 photosystem 2 and simultaneously light energy excites the electron in photosystem 1. The electron excited from photosystem 1 is accepted by NADP plus and creates NADPH through a reduction reaction. This chain reaction of electrons allows for the creation of a proton gradient, which then passes through ATP synthase to create ATP. Light-dependent reactions have byproducts of ATP and NADPH, which are essential reactants of the light-independent cycle, also known as the Calvin cycle. ATP, the storage of light energy, is produced in light-dependent reactions. ATP is used to create glucose in, a, in the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle stores energy into organic products for the plant to use at a later time. The process of the Calvin cycle is a reduction reaction since carbon gains protons and electrons. The first main process in the Calvin cycle is called carbon fixation. The process begins with CO2 entering the cycle and attaching to ribulose biphosphate. The enzyme Rubisco, or ribulose biphosphate carboxylase, catalyzes this step. The six carbon that forms in this step is extremely unstable, and it immediately breaks down into two to three carbon molecules called 3PGA. The second stage of the Calvin cycle is reduction. The ATP and NADPH from the light-dependent cycle are reduced, and they donate electrons to convert the 3PGA to G3P. One of the G3P is used to make glucose, but the others continue to the next step of the cycle, reduction. The other G3P are recycled to regenerate the RUBP acceptor. ATP becomes ADP, and RUBP is formed. The process then happens over again.